Hello friends and welcome back to the studio. This is Susie with Gemini Connect and in this week's video we're going to be talking about editing videos on a smartphone using a brand new app by GoPro called Quick. I'm going to tell you some of the features that are in the new Quick app then we're going to dive into the app and try to edit a little travel video slash vlog using only the GoPro Quick app. In case you're wondering the GoPro Quick app isn't exactly brand new. Instead it's a refresh of a previous app it used to be called GoPro Quick, but now the name of the app is just Quick. It can be a little confusing if you have the old version of the app, but basically if you log into that app, you're going to be prompted to download the new version. Once you download the new version of the app, it's pretty straightforward. It's a new way to organize your footage and also do some quick edits. The app is free to use with a trial at first, but then it goes to a monthly or yearly subscription. But if you're a GoPro Plus subscriber, then access to the app and all of its features is included in your subscription. So I became a GoPro Plus subscriber this past year, mainly because I wanted that discount on my new GoPro Hero 9, but also because being a subscription member means that I get up to 50% off of GoPro accessories. So I buy pretty much all of my accessories, including the media Media mod, the remote, the max lens mod, and all kinds of little tripods and accessories from GoPro.com, and I get a pretty nice discount thanks to having that subscription. So if you're not already a GoPro Plus subscriber, then you might want to consider it for those discounts, but also unlimited access to the new Quick app. So what's new in the Quick app? There's a few things definitely worth talking about. First of all, the Quick app is now optimized for using footage from all kinds of different cameras. Before this new rebranding, the GoPro Quick app was really only meant for GoPro footage, and so therefore most people only used it if they were already using GoPro cameras. But now with the new app, you can take footage from a smartphone, a DSLR, a mirrorless camera, or your GoPro, and you can edit them all together inside of the app. I find this especially helpful because even though we are primarily GoPro vloggers on this channel, we use at least two or three different cameras when we're out filming. Mostly our Fujifilm mirrorless cameras, but also our smartphones. And so our final vlogs that we end up editing are actually a compilation of at least three different cameras. So I like the fact that this new Quick app is also going in that direction. Importing your footage into the Quick app is really easy. And once you do that, you can preview all of your footage in a private collection called a mural. From there, you can choose all of the clips that you want to organize into a video, and then GoPro can actually make an automated compilation of highlights. The GoPro highlight reel also includes music, and that music is royalty-free, because also new in the GoPro app is a big library of royalty-free music that you can use with your videos. Now, royalty-free music may not mean a lot to most of you out there, but if you plan to upload your videos onto YouTube or certain social media platforms, you might notice that certain videos these days are getting pulled down or sometimes demonetized, or there's some kind of penalty if you're using music that is not royalty-free. But the good news is all of the music within the GoPro Quick app is royalty-free, so you don't have to worry about your video possibly being dinged or punished once it's uploaded to social media. If you want to expand on the edits that GoPro does on its highlights reel, or if you want to just start from scratch and completely edit your video on your own, then there are some really nice tools in the new Quick app. You have access to a basic suite of editing tools that allow you to adjust the exposure, the contrast, the vibrancy, and the saturation of your videos, and you can also go ahead and add titles and stickers. There are also exclusive GoPro filters and themes for quick editing. And another new tool that's really nice to have is a speed ramping tool. So this allows you to slow down or fast forward your video or even freeze frame a shot. And finally, when you're done editing your video, you can easily export it and share it to any social media websites or just send it by email or text to your friends or family. So those are some of the basics of the new Quick app, but now let's actually dive into the app with some real footage and see how easy it is to edit together a video. I'm gonna be editing on my Samsung Galaxy S10. I already have the Quick app installed, and we're gonna be using some footage from a week that we spent working remotely in Idaho. I've already signed in in my GoPro Plus subscription, so I should have all of my footage that I've already uploaded from my previous GoPro um, already synced to the app. Then you can see that, you know, this is the footage that I've imported directly into the app. But then if I go over to cloud, this is some footage directly from the GoPro. 
So all of this footage in here was about a day's worth of shooting. It was 33 clips and it ended up being about 60 gigabytes worth of footage, all shot in 4K30. So uploading it directly to the cloud took about 30 minutes or so, 30, 35 minutes. So it does take a little bit of time to upload your footage. But once it's uploaded, you have unlimited access to it from the app. So now that we have some clips inside of the app, let's go ahead and see what GoPro can put together as part of its highlights reel. So once we have everything selected, uh, you see that little blue box go around your selections. I'm gonna go over to, I think it's this one, and that little button there. At this point, it would be nice to see a little countdown or like a little timer so that we know exactly how long we're going to be waiting for that uh, video to come together. But yeah, for now, we'll just sit back and wait for something to come through. So GoPro's edit spit out a three, about a three minute, 40 second video of that clip. And again, there were like 33 different clips that I had selected. And I think it was just kind of random, like the moments that the quick app chose to highlight. So personally, like when I edit, I have a really specific story or video in mind. I think the quick app is best for quick moments. I don't think it's best to edit a longer video. So with that in mind, let's go through and try to edit a shorter, quicker video using the Quick App. So in this example, these are just a small compilation of some of the phone photos and videos, mostly videos actually, that I shot during that week in Idaho. So these are only phone videos, but you could do this again with GoPro stuff. But if you're going to be using this app and that AI editor for you know GoPro videos, I think that it's best to shoot in short, really quick form videos. You probably don't want to do this if it's, you know, longer than two, three minute videos. Otherwise, just the processing takes too long. And so for this one, uh, GoPro made a 36 second video, which is much easier to handle than a three minute, 40 second video. And I think it looks pretty decent, actually. Chicken pot pie? It's a great surprise, you know, chicken. Yeah, pretty steamy. That's mm -hmm. <laughs> not even the main course. <laughs> okay, we'll make up for it. <laughs> yes. Those are really good. Yeah, really, really good. Yeah. And the nice thing I noticed right off the bat is that GoPro goes through, it selects the music for you. And along with that, it also selects, you know, certain types of transitions and things like that. If you want to quickly change any of those things while keeping the, your clips in sequence, then go over to, I think this is the themes tab here. And you can select any number of the themes and that will change up the vibe of the video. You want to go through and change specific things like let's go ahead and change the music here i'm going to swipe over to the music tab and then you see that the music is actually edited or arranged by the genre so you've got like friends gopro originals travel summer epic night outdoors love story memories it's actually a lot of different even no music if you don't want music but there actually are quite a few music options in here. And again, all of these are royalty free, so you don't have to worry about copyright strikes. Another 
know, the other thing I really like about this GoPro automated highlight is that GoPro seems to detect whenever someone is speaking. And it's a little bit, it's not really, I'm not really sure what makes it decide to keep certain tracks of audio, but it does retain some of that speech. It doesn't totally block it out. So it seems to be able to recognize a human voice and keep certain moments. And sometimes also just reduce the music so you can still hear the music, still hear the voice. So I really like that. <laughs> Another really quick edit you can do is right next to music, you can go over to that little clock icon and that can actually recut your video to certain lengths depending on where you plan to upload it. So if you drag it here, it says, you know, 58 seconds, best for Instagram. That indeed would be really good as a um, Instagram story or IGTV or suggested. It's suggesting that your video should be a minute 12 in length or, you know, down to 140 even or even up to two minutes long for the entire length of the song. Now, let's say we want to go through and fine tune some of the specific clips. You can do that pretty easily by hitting the pencil icon and the video will actually play through, and as it's doing that, it highlights down below the specific clip that it's referring to. So if, you know, we want to, let's say towards the end, we actually want to get rid of a clip here, we just select it, and then we're going to hold and drag it down to the trash can to get rid of that clip. We can also tap the little pencil icon on the clip, and then we can edit that specific clip. So down below, we can go over to like adjust, we can adjust, you know, the contrast, the vibrant, you know, maybe bring up the highlights a little bit, also bring up the shadows. So we can go really go through and, you know, fine tune that specific edit. We can also adjust the speed of the clips. This is where we can do that little speed ramp if we want to slow things down. Or in this case, I think we actually want to speed this clip up because there is a train going through in front of the mountains, but it's going really slow. So I might want to double that rate. Also, if you don't want to fine tune and edit that frame exactly, you can go over to filters and choose any of the number of filters that are already here. So you have like a Cine filter, you have Kiel, Waimea, Vibe. These are kind of like those Instagram filters, but these are GoPro's exclusive filters. And there's actually quite a few of them. Ooh, that's really nice. That really shows off the colors of the sunset there. So yeah, there's so many filters in here. So that's really, really nice. Once you choose a filter, you can also adjust the strength so you can make it you know, more impactful or you can lessen the effect. Another thing you can do is go over to text. And so you know, towards the beginning, maybe I wanna add the title of the video. So we'll just say sunset or evening in Idaho. That's what we're gonna say. And say you wanna crop any of your images, you just go over to frame and you can you know, pinch to zoom or you can select you know, flip if you want to make things go sideways or you know even upside down for special effects we're going to keep it pretty simple and all we're going to do is just yeah crop in a bit so we can see the main subjects here one thing i do want to do to some specific clips here is that where gopro decided to keep some of us talking i don't really want that dialogue so i'm going to go into you know this clip right here and I don't want the dialogue here. So instead of mix, I'm going to go ahead and select off. And so that turns off the dialogue and it just makes the music keep going to fill in that gap. Um, I do notice that every time that you want to save and edit, it does again take a little bit of time for that video to export. Even this video, which is only 36 seconds, it's you know, probably going to take at this rate, maybe you know, 30 plus seconds, 30 seconds to a minute just to export. And so when I was trying to export that three minute, 40 second video, then that one took a while. So you definitely have to budget some time for the export from your phone. All right, so there you have it. There is a short and sweet little video that I made using the new app Quick by GoPro. I think this is a really great app for making quick and short videos. I would say a minute or less is kind of the sweet spot 
You could probably do a longer edit of like a longer blog or video, but I personally prefer the ergonomics and precision of using a computer as opposed to editing on a smaller screen. But you know, it's always personal choice. So if this looks like a really cool app for you, then I really hope you give it a shot. And especially if you're already a GoPro Plus subscriber, we're paying for this as one of our benefits. So we might as well go ahead and start using it. But let me know in the comments below what you think about the new GoPro Quick app. Have you started using it yet? Do you have any other questions? Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.